Good morning, Card Bean. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day from 1989, the 1989 Bowman Tiffany card. This is uh, the glossy front cards that Topps produced for their Tiffany sets. They did it for the Bowman in 1989 as well. And therefore, the card stock is the white cardboard, not the brown cardboard that we're all used to in Topps cards. Uh, Topps would do Tiffany uh, every year from 94 through. I have to double check. I can't recall if they did a 1991 Tiffany set. Um, they certainly did a 1990 Tiffany, but um, the 1990, 1989 Bowman was just like uh, all the other Tiffany sets. Uh, fun fact, your Ken Griffey Jr. card is the rookie card from 1989. The most valuable Ken Griffey Jr. card of 1989 is not the upper deck. It is, in fact, the Bowman Tiffany, a PSA 10 Bowman Tiffany. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card is quite a pricey item if you can find it. I think they only made like 400 or 500 total Tiffany sets that year because it was their first release of the Bowman, first re-release of the Bowman brand. Uh, and uh, they weren't sure how well it would go over, so they only made a very limited number of the Tiffany sets. And if you f have one of those, pull out the uh, Ken Griffey Jr. card. It is a quite the pricey little item. Look it up. Today's random baseball item of the day, kind of an interesting two-part thing for you. I pulled this out of a box of archives a while ago. It is a uh, redemption card of a um, card of Freddie Freeman Auto. Uh, it was from an insert set from uh, last year's archives called the 1957 Tops Hits Stars, um, which I, I actually completed the whole uh, base run of those cards, just the basic version, not an autograph or a parallel or nothing. But this was the blue foil parallel version of that. And I looked up on the tradingcarddatabase.com when I pulled this redemption, and that the blue foils are numbered to 25. So here it is. Here's the code if you all want to go after the card because you can't. I just got the card today. Here it is. My Freddie Freeman hits stars. Blue foil parallel, still in the penny sleeve here. It's kind of a rainbow foil on it. Uh, looking very very blue kind of works really well with the dodgers blue there freddie freeman auto on card auto still in the thing you, you can see here that it's numbered to 25 but I, the, the number itself is blocked by the st the tops uh sealed sticker on the top loader i don't know if i'll ever rip that out it's nice to have it still in the the top loader that or the sealed top loader that it came to us from the factory in you know so i might hold on to that but this is the card I got back. Finally be able to show it off to everybody so you know what it looks like. I will say this. Um, Adam from Adam's Card Closet, I, I think you're still a big Freeman fan. Um, I'm not going to give you this card, Adam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm holding on to the card for a while. Uh, but if you want this redemption card, I'll send it out to you. I'm not sure how crazed of a Freddie Freeman fan you are. Maybe you would like to have the, a, a redemption card of Freddie Freeman. I know that uh, for me, from my standpoint, as a Mike Schmidt uh, craze collector, I would love to have even a, a redemption card like this of Mike Schmidt, even though I didn't get the actual card associated with it. That'd be a fun thing to have in my collection. So if you want it, let me know. Uh, if anybody else wants it, in case Adam doesn't, I'll be happy to send out this used uh, redemption card for you. So... Today's trivia question, uh, keeping with the uh, theme of great trades or not so great trades, the um, it's February, so February is coming up on spring training, and there's still a lot of wheeling and dealing that goes on in spring training. So we're talking about trades or signings, free agent signings this month in our trivia question. So uh, I'm going to turn back the clock to 1990. 1990, the Boston Red Sox were in a bit of a pennant race trying to win the, the American League East. Uh, this was before wild card play. 
so they had to win the East. Now, you know, if you know your 1990 uh, history, you know it was A's versus Reds in the World Series, and the Reds won. So clearly the A's won the American League West. The Red Sox actually did win the American League East, and they traded. They made a trade with the Astros on August the 30th for middle reliever Larry Anderson. And believe it or not, Larry Anderson did help them. He, he pitched effectively uh, in middle relief for the uh, Red Sox and helped them get to the postseason. Uh, he wasn't very good in the uh, American League Championship Series that year as the A's swept the Red Sox four straight, but he did contribute. And the Red Sox on that trade on um, August 30th when they acquired Larry Anderson, all they had to give up was an unproven rookie uh, for him. The question is, what was the name of that future Hall of Fame player that the Red Sox gave up to get Larry Anderson? That's your question. Shoot me. Well, here's what. Here's the prize for that question. Uh, another two great 1983 Donruss All Star 3x5 cards. Your Mike Schmidt and Robin Yount, two veteran Hall of Famers. So that's your prize. If you can you know, answer that question, shoot me an email with the correct answer. Uh, I will include my email in the description below along with a repeat of that question. You will have today and tomorrow to answer, and we will pick a winner on Sunday, all right? So today, what I want to show off is uh, I'm glad I could have paused into making the videos when I did, because I was able to go out to my local card shop, stopped by the LCS while I was out, picked up a couple cool things, and I got a couple cool things to show off for you today. So, first off, supplies. If you saw my earlier videos this week, you know I got some Fleer and Donruss sets, so I picked up some boxes, some storage boxes. I got to fold it up and put it together. I wasn't sure how big the Fleer set was, so... In addition to the Donner 660 set, I got a couple 800 count sets, uh, set um, 800 count uh, boxes as well. Now, I also picked up, uh, I was putting together, if you remember that Donruss video, I got the full um, 1985 Don, Donruss Diamond Kings Super Size set of 5x7. So I needed more 5x7 pages. <laughs> Got me some Ultra Pro 5x7s for that purpose and that purpose only because uh, I ran out. As I was putting the set together, I ran out. I was very upset about that. <laughs> anyway, other cool things I got. So uh, I actually stopped by a Facebook Marketplace purchase and picked up some additional Topps Fleer stickers. But not only the Topps Fleer stickers, let me show this to you all pull this out some of the Fleer stickers that I'm collecting but also some of these cards I cannot remember for the life of me right now well it might be that they're, I guess they are just still Fleer stickers but these are from different a different year that I haven't started collecting yet I haven't started getting all of these um what I want to say this particular sticker year I haven't started uh collecting that so to have a few of those here they are as part of the collection is another great thing so i got a lot of stickers to go through here uh because i am trying to collect all of the fleer stickers that are given out over the years so this is a nice little pickup from a facebook marketplace purchase i'm very happy with that at the lcs when i picked up uh in the five dollar bin other than the supplies this is what I got in the $5 bin. I think it's a really cool postcard of Walter Johnson. Apparently, this is a um, promotional postcard by the artist and his gallery dealer who deals for him. Because on the back, you can see it just simply says, Big Train, painting by Arthur K. Miller, copyright Arthur K. Miller, and the Art Asylum. But it's a really cool picture. There's no date on it. I don't know when this was produced. Uh, classic Walter Johnson picture right there. This is Mr. Miller's 
a copy of Mr. Miller's painting reduced to uh, a five by seven postcard size. I thought that was really cool because I, you know, postcards, um, postcards of legendary Hall of Famers are really cool. This one, Mike Schmidt pickup. Uh, this was uh, just a, a little souvenir sheet issued for his induction day and then stamped with the uh, Cooperstown, New York postmark on that day. Uh, if you know anything about Hall of Fame induction Sunday, the post office opens up and you can get almost anything. You have to pay a little bit to do it, but they'll put a little stamp on here and stamp it with their induction day stamp for all the different players. Um, and you can get any almost anything you want autographed and uh, stamped with the induction day stamp for that year. And, you know, it, it earns the town a little money and it makes people think they got a little bit of a unique item when they do that. But again, I think, the whole, I think they, they'll stamp anything at all for a fee. So I got this Mike Schmidt souvenir thing. And along the uh, same... In the same vein, a uh, little envelope cachet. These little um, envelopes are called cachet, C-A-C-H-E. Um, and this company, Zenith, or whoever this little Z foil, these, they did dozens upon dozens upon dozens of these with different pictures inside. They all look the same. Uh, this was out in the $5 bin, so I snagged that as well. And then the big thing I picked up, which I'm very happy about, and it was just lying there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe no one else has snagged this. From 1980, it is a set. It is known as the SSPC Hall of Fame set. A uh, little-known company. Let me see if I can find the actual. I mean, there's really no copyright or anything. SSPC issued this set of cards. Very, very inexpensive because it is very, very ugly. Um, the, the, the images are very poor, poorly done. In fact, if you go back to some of the later ones, some of the Negro League stars, they have these crude drawings, Josh Gibson. It's like this awful artist rendering of Josh Gibson. Uh, Hall of Famer Joe Kelly, look at the eyes are like almost not there. It's just, it's really a, you know, again, the Negro Leaguers are just jokes. That's not even a Negro Leaguer, Jake Beckley. Jake Beckley was even a Negro Leaguer. But some of the images are terrible, terrible images. But they are of all the Hall of Famers. And what's great about this set, uh, one of the things that's awesome about this set is it has people like Warren Giles. Warren Giles is a Hall of Famer for his being an executive in the game. And this is one of the few sets that were ever issued that had executives. Uh, George Weiss, general manager, um, it has executives as well as um, players, managers. Here's Branch Rickey of the Dodgers and other teams. A young looking Casey Stengel up there. Uh, it even has umpires. I thought I could find a couple umpires, but I haven't seen any. It has umpires, managers, owners. Um, and you go down here, Ed Barrow. And that's, again, another reason why it's a very inexpensive set. It's very, very ugly cards. But this is not even the whole set. There are, I have 173 cards. That's what came in the binder off the $5 bin. 173 different cards. Turns out there are 199. On top of that, each card comes almost in four different variations because what they do, as you can see here on the back, it actually says first printing. They actually printed four versions of this. Uh, they kept, you know, that's, that's why I'd say if you look on the tradingcarddatabase.com, you'll find this under 1980 through 1987 SSPC card set, Hall of Famers. And they did four separate printings, sometimes changing things up. So there, sometimes there was a Major League Baseball logo there. Sometimes this word first printing isn't there even. So, um, yeah, they did four different printings, and so there's four different A through B, A through D variations of most cards, although I'm not trying to get all the cards, I'm just trying to get a full set, so having gone to 173, I know that there are, in fact, 199 different players featured. Uh, I don't know if they added additional players later on, but there are 190 players 
uh, total. So I need to get uh, a few more uh, to complete this full set, which I will certainly be doing. But when I saw this on the $5 table, I snagged it instantly. I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. So that is uh, today's card shop pickups, my LCS pickups. Just a couple things I thought were really, really cool. Uh, plus the um, you know, the Fleer stickers from the uh, Facebook Marketplace pickup. So that's all I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did because I got some cool stuff to show off. Uh, don't forget the trivia question. You know, check out that. We are picking a winner on Sunday, so stop back for that. But thank you for watching. If you uh, enjoyed that video, please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. I know I'm getting dang near 400 subscribers, and I do want to have a contest for that, all right? Uh, so anyway, have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping by. See you on Sunday, I hope. Take care.